Hello everyone, welcome back. We're ready for section 5.5, Use Inequalities in a Triangle. We're going to start off with some questions, and these questions should be pretty easy. I think they're fairly obvious. So the first one is, which angle appears to be the largest? And you can probably tell that angle A is the biggest. Next, which side appears to be the longest? And you can probably tell BC is the longest. Next, which angle appears to be the smallest? B and C are both pretty small, but C is the smallest. Next, which side appears to be the shortest? And I'm sure you can tell that is AB. Now the point of all of this was to see if you can see a relationship between the largest angle and the longest side. So the largest angle is over here, and the longest side was down here. That relationship is that they are opposite each other. The next question, is that the same relationship between the smallest angle and the shortest side? So here was the smallest angle, and here is the shortest side. And so yes, they are both opposite each other also. Um, then the next little thing here is just that it is a fairly common, fairly standard practice to label the side opposite the angle with the same letter, but to use a lowercase letter instead. So opposite this angle A, we're going to name this side little a, and opposite angle B, we'll call this side little b. And C's are kind of hard because they both look the same capital and lowercase, but this will be a little c then. And uh, that'll make your life a little bit easier for some of the questions in this section. We do have several theorems in this section. This first one, theorem 510, says if one side of a triangle is longer than another side, then the angle opposite the longer side is larger than the angle opposite the shorter side. So here we have BC greater than AC. You can tell because of the lengths, 6 is greater than 4. So then the measure of angle A, whatever it might be, is going to be bigger than the measure of angle B. And if you'd like to use the little letters, you can. So BC, or little letter A, is greater than AC, or little letter B. Now theorem 511 is very much like it, only this time you're starting with the angles. So if one angle of a triangle is larger than another angle, then the side opposite the larger angle is longer than the side opposite the smaller angle. So here you can see that the measure of angle C, 70 degrees, is bigger than A at only 45 degrees. So you don't know what the sides actually are, but you do know that C is going to be greater than A. Or you can use the two-letter combo, BA is greater than BC. Um, the triangle inequality theorem, theorem 512, is a little bit different. It says the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. So whichever two sides you take in turn, they have to add up to more than the third side. So if you take AB and BC, it's going to be greater than AC. Or if you do AC plus BC, it's going to be greater than AB. Or if you take AB and AC, it's going to be greater than BC. Now the way that we use that is to test if lengths actually will make a triangle and to determine a range of values that will work as a third side if you know two sides. And we'll do an example of that in just a minute. So here we'll test these three lengths, um, three sets of lengths, to see whether or not they will make a triangle. So the first one, 1, 2, and 4. Well, if you add 4 and 2, that's definitely bigger than 1. Or if you add 1 and 4, that's definitely bigger than 2. But if you add 1 and 2, that's only 3, and that is not bigger than 4. So that combo will not make a triangle. If you had 
sticks that were one inch, two inches, and four inches, you could not lay them out to make a triangle. They wouldn't reach. Um, the next one, five, five, and 10, you, know, you can take the five and the 10 here, or the five and the, the 10 here, and that's 15, and that's bigger than the other five. But if you take these two, five plus five is 10, but the theorem says it has to be greater than 10. And so that combo won't work either. But the third combo will, if you do five and five, that's 10, it's bigger than nine. If you do nine and five, it's 14, that's bigger than five. Same thing if you did this five and that nine, 14, bigger than the other five. So that combo will make a triangle. If you had sticks that were five inches, five inches, and nine inches, you'd have no trouble laying them out in the triangle. That brings us to some guided practice. This first one says, list the sides of triangle RST in order from shortest to longest. Of course, they don't give you any side lengths, but they do give you the angle measures. So 29 is the smallest angle, so it's going to be opposite the smallest side. So that means that ST is the shortest. Then 30 is in the middle, so it is opposite this side. So whether you say RS or SR, that doesn't matter. And then you're left with the 121 as the biggest, opposite the RT or TR. Number two says another stage prop, so that's, they're saying another because one of these examples used a stage prop in it. So another stage prop is a right triangle with sides that are 6, 8, and 10 feet long and angles of 90 degrees, about 37 degrees, and about 53 degrees. Sketch and label a diagram with the shortest side on the bottom and the right angle at the left. So we want to have our right angle over here and our shortest side on the bottom. And we had sides of six, eight, and 10, and then angles that were about 37 and 53. So the 37 needs to be opposite the six because that's gonna be our smallest angle, so it's opposite our smallest side. The 53 is opposite the eight because they're both in the middle. And then the 90, is opposite the 10 because those are the biggest angles and sides. Um, number three, a triangle has one side of 11 inches and another of 15 inches. Describe the possible lengths of the third side. So this is very easy if you can remember to just add the numbers together and subtract the numbers. So you put X in the middle of two less than symbols and you add 11 and 15 and that gives you 26. So you put that here and you subtract. So 15 minus 11 is four and you put that there. So you just add and subtract the two numbers and it gives you a range of values. That means that the third side of the triangle has to be bigger. So side is bigger than four, kind of reading in reverse there, but it's also less than 26. So the third side could be 10 or 15 or 20, could be anything in between there. It cannot be four because this is not an equal sign. It cannot be 26. It could be 4.1, it could be 25.9. As long as it falls in between these two numbers, you will be able to form a triangle. All right, that is all for now. Until next time, have a great day.